What happens now? Oh. Well, I didn't get enough time to prepare for that. There's no way this could get any worse. It's worse. Oh, what the hell? Put the muffins in the freezer. I did. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no. I'm Some nasty ass shit. I like it. Let's do it. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Strength to be a smith. Could you clarify that? Absolutely. I in no way meant to imply that grip strength was a barrier to overcome in smithing. I meant to say that grip strength is a gift, a benefit granted by spending time in the smithing hobby. So as you go, your grip strength is going to increase with time. Mm. Mm. Drink water, but stay thirsty. Today, we're gonna test how well you listen. I'm gonna take you out all day, getting food, seeing a movie, shopping, and you're gonna do everything I say, regardless of who's around or where we are. You'll do your absolute best to follow directions. Do I make myself clear? So, put on that dress that I picked out with nothing underneath, and let's go. Let me tell you something, you stupid little runt. I own you. You're my bitch. So don't walk around here thinking you have free will because you don't. I can crush you any time I want. So settle in. Because you are here for the long haul.
Wax play. A form of temperature play in which wax is placed onto a person's skin in order to create a burning sensation. Massage oil and lotion candles are typically made from materials such as soy as well as shea and cocoa butter and will usually have essential oils mixed in. These burn at wonderfully low temperatures and soak right into the skin. These are amazing for less intense scenes or whenever you just want a really great massage. Next up are soy candles without the massage additives that turn them into oils. These are whenever you start getting into the art form as well as slightly higher heat tolerances as they burn around 123 degrees Fahrenheit. This point on is whenever one should avoid fragrances in the candles due to possible chemical caused skin irritation. Next are paraffin blend candles. This example is double wicked which is great for suspension with shibari or kimbaku. These burn around 125 to 135 degrees Fahrenheit depending on the blend and require more skill with distant pouring in order to ensure the proper pouring temperatures. My favorites are the cheap and painful candles made from paraffin which can be used for more intense or masochistic scenes. Typically burning between 125 and 145 vary by color. They're not suitable for everyone. You have to know your skin and have an experienced partner. For example, my skin is prone to bruising, rending, and scarring but not sensitive to burning and I can physically handle and enjoy the higher heat without injury. Do your research before trying any. Are you new to BDSM? Well, here are the red flags to look out for when finding partners. I don't use safe words. Babes, run. Safe words and actions are literally the foundation upon which risk-aware and consensual play is built. If they think this is a brag, get out of there. Don't take yourself so seriously. This is the bane of my existence. Minimizing someone's concern and telling them to be chill is especially harmful as you're engaging in BDSM as a newbie. Do not apologize for being intentional about who you allow in your space and taking the time that you need to feel comfortable. Nothing is off limits for me. Regardless of where you fall on the DS spectrum, having boundaries is wonderful and 100% okay. Find partners who prioritize communication and care and will always respect your boundaries. Unless no limits has been explicitly agreed upon between trusted and long-term partners or professional, this is not the vibe. Like and follow for part two. Hello, all you kinky people out there. Let's talk about aftercare. Aftercare is incredibly important in preventing sub and dom drop. So in case you didn't know, sub and dom drop are the lack of endorphins and dopamine that you get in a scene. It can lead to depression and anxiety and wondering if you did something wrong. It's generally just bad feelings and aftercare prevents that. Aftercare is different for everyone. It can be cuddling, watching a movie, showering, eating food, whatever you need to help you bring you back into reality and ease you off of the high of dopamine and endorphins that you get from a scene. And the more intense a scene, the more you need aftercare. So remember, safety, consent, and have fun.